Good afternoon, Facebook. Hello, hello. It is hump day, Wednesday, at least I think it is. Sometimes I don't know whether I'm coming or going. <laughs> okay, I think we are good to go. Hello, hello. Okay, how is everybody doing this afternoon? Hello, Kimberly. Hi, Nancy. I haven't forgot about you. I'm going to get back to you. You're, you're on my to-do list. I'll show you. Look, get back to Nancy. See? I know, I know. I remember. Hi, Barb. You are beautiful. Hello, hello, hello Heather. <laughs> okay. All right. Hi, Sherry. I think your last name is so cool. Poppenhager. Am I saying that right? Poppenhager. Hi, Don. How are you? How's it going in Springfield? Okay. So, the special letter that we are drawing for today is the letter L. Okay. And remember, I'm glad, I'm glad I got that right. Remember that um, you want to use your intuition and be thinking about exactly what it is that you are wanting uh, clarification or guidance on. So think about what situation exactly it is that you are wanting that clarification or guidance on. And you want to use your, uh, the very first one that you come up with, the very first thing that you pick, the number. So, so many times people will be, uh, you know, well, I picked number one, but I was thinking two first, and then two made more sense. So keep that in mind, okay? All righty. Okie dokie, artichokey. So we have our L's. Hi, Nick. We have our L's, our L cards, okay? So if you have the first, last, uh, initial M, your situ or L, sorry, your situation involves L, or, um, you know, the place that you're wanting to go to, whatever it is, whatever the situation might be, if it involves the letter L, uh, you may use those particular uh, cards just for yourself. Okie dokie. So many people. Oh, Static X. I'm so jealous. I went through a phase where I absolutely loved them. Still do. But that sounds awesome, Cindy. I hope and pray to God that uh, when I'm your age, I'm still kicking ass at, at metal concerts. You are an inspiration. Okay, so let's get started. This is what you want to see, right? So we've got number one, number two, and number three. So pick which one of the cards you feel most drawn to and be picturing in your mind the situation in which you're wanting clarity or guidance, okay? One, two, or three. Put that number right there in the comments. Hold yourself accountable. Hello, Malia. Hello, Karen. Hi, Jean. Hi, Nicole. Nicole has a very cool podcast. Um, I can't remember what the name of it is, Nicole. Put, put your podcast information. Feel free to put that in the uh, comment section should anybody be interested in uh, joining your podcast. Hi, Allie. It's been a long time, Allie. Candice, Teresa, I see all of you. Closet Confessions, yes, and it is very neat. I've listened to a few of the uh, podcasts on there, and I've also been a guest, and so it's super neat if, you, if you're looking for a new podcast to listen to. Okay, so one, two, or three. One, two, or three. Oh, my Aunt Kim is on. Hi, Aunt Kim, I love you. One, two, or three. One, two, and three. And I'm going to tell you, if you were teetering between one or two and you couldn't decide, they are very similar cards. They have different messages, but they're very similar. So, you know, if you're paying attention to your intuition and where you're pulled and uh, you're, you're really wanting to go to one, but you keep feeling two or, or vice versa, make sure you pick one or two because they're very similar, okay? Sure, that would be great, Nicole. Thank you. Hi, Karen. Hi, Kathy. 
Oh, I just love seeing all of you and being able to say hello. Okay, so while we're doing this, I'll hold these here for a few more minutes if you're if you're popping on. Oh, Nicole added the uh, the link there for uh, the podcast uh, interview that I did with her. It was super fun. She's just she's a hoot. She's a lot. We were very similar, both Gemini's, and so it was it was interesting. Um, all right. Zoom events for the 21st just sold out. These Zoom events have been selling out left and right. People keep asking me, what is a Zoom event and how can I participate? So there is a difference between a private Zoom reading, okay, and then a mediumship Zoom event. My Zoom events are 20 people or less. They take place during the week and they are 25 bucks a person. People keep saying, why is it so much cheaper to do a Zoom event? Well, here's why. A, it's during the week, so I have childcare because it's during uh, work hours, right? During school hours. So I know that some of you may have to skip out on work or go on your lunch hour, which is why it's at noon on, at 12 o'clock. Um, and I appreciate that, but that also allows me to keep the cost down low. I don't need an assistant. I don't have to pay for a venue. Um, so yes, we are trying the we are trying 20 people or less, 25 bucks for the Zoom events, and so far they are selling out left and right. I think everybody has had an excellent experience that's attended, even the people that didn't get readings, um, because it's such a small group. We're able to be a lot more intimate. So I absolutely love it. I just posted the next Zoom event, which will be April 27th on a Thursday. I'm trying to do random different days of the week so that I can kind of do something for everybody. I know some people have off Mondays or Tuesdays or Thursdays. So this one will be Thursday, uh, April 27th, 20 people or less, 25 bucks. And I just posted it like 10 minutes ago. Um, the other event that I wanted to talk to you guys about is Wine and Spirits. And that is um, our most intimate event yet. Uh, it's gonna be held right here in my home and only 10 people are allowed. So you're almost guaranteed a message. I'm not going to say you are guaranteed a message because that's completely up to spirit. Um, but chances of getting a message are very good. And if you come with a group, your chances of getting a message are usually even higher, right? Because all of you are pulling that energy from the same uh, loved one on the other side that wants to speak to, to you. So um, no more than 10 people. You're able to bring your own wine if you don't like that wine that I am serving, which will be Merlot. Or no, I'm going to serve uh, Moscato. Merlot is my favorite, but nobody likes it. Uh, so I'm going to serve Moscato. And uh, we'll have little snacks. And it's just, it's going to be so fun and intimate. And I can't wait to start it up. Um, and then the last event that I wanted to to bring up before we reveal the cards is uh, the Funny Bone, May 27th. If you haven't got your tickets yet to that event, you do not want to miss out. And I know you're probably thinking in your head, okay, she says that all the time. I'm serious. This is my birthday weekend. Come have a drink with me after the show. I, I cannot wait to be, uh, you know, doing an event and um, in the funny bone. I'm such a fan of comedy in general. And so um, I really feel like it's a point in time where we get to, I, I'm going to feel the most comfortable with the comedic side of being a comedian. So um, yeah, go get your tickets. Those are online right now. Oh, Allie, Marion, you guys have my heart. Merlot is amazing. And it's good for your heart from what I'm told. Although if you drink it as much as I do, I don't know. Okay. All right. Are we ready? Are we ready, Freddies? Let's start with our L's. I'm looking to see if I have any L's out here today. L, L, L. I don't see any yet. <laughs> Marilyn, you are so sweet. Hey, is everybody safe and okay from the, from the tornado uh, that just hit here in Missouri and, and the storms? Is everybody, all 54 of you, Everybody okay? Linda, I have perfect cards for you. You don't have to pick number two today unless you just want to. We'll see if that one goes for you. Laura, I am picking for just L's today, okay? Uh, as far as the, 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 uh, the initial goes. Now I do still have my one, two, threes. So let's start with the L's, okay? Good in Huntsville, good to hear, Heather. We safe in Columbia, awesome. 
we were safe here in Hannibal. Okay, so for my L's, are you ready for this? Lucy, you inspired me to pull L's today. So be listening, okay? So you got the Ace of Water, L friends. This is a big deal because this card is all about the resurgence of a relationship or the growth of spiritual uh, intuition, enhanced intuition, feeling as if, oh man, I swear to God, I just had this dream and then it happened, or I thought about this person and then it happened. Um, this card is coming through to you to confirm that. The last thing that this card could mean now, so there's three different meanings. The first meaning is a resurgence of a relationship or falling in love or falling in love again. Okay. The second meaning is um, picking up on your enhanced intuition, spiritual growth in general. And the third meaning could be, if it should apply to you, a new home. So keep all of those things in mind. What I like to pay attention to with, uh, with this card is that this is water. So we're literally just going with the flow. However, this starts, we're also uh, the ace. So this is the very beginning of a situation that's about to take place, okay? So either it, it literally just started happening or it's going to be happening. But um, I, wanna, I wanna put this card up here just so that you guys can, um, can read exactly what it says there. Falling in love or the resurgence of a relationship, spiritual growth, enhanced intuition, or a new home. For very few of you, all three of those may apply. Um, but usually it's going to be just, just one element of that card that's going to make sense for you. So what I want you to do is pick the element that resonates with you the most and take that as your guidance. The, uh, the card that I pulled to back this card up, it's called a multi-deck reading, um, and to give me a little bit more information about this card was number 85. It's all about following your dreams. And so when I get this card and I mesh it with this card, I feel like the main message here is all about following in what your intuition is telling you, um, stepping into your spiritual growth, really beginning to, um, to feel uh, enamored and, and um, excited about what it is that your, your mind and your body and your spirit is going through. Uh, sometimes... I will pick one thing that that card means to me or uh, whatever my intuition is showing me that day. I'll, I'll pick one thing. Um, but in this, in this case, I am laying it all on the table. All three of those for the L's, I feel, could, uh, could have something to do with what, what you're going through. So I'm not going to take any bit of that out, okay? All right. So, my number ones, number one, oh, okay, so the number ones got the, uh, the number 14, which is the card of balance. This card is all about um, compromise and cooperation. Uh, it has a lot to do with waiting on the perfect timing, too. So if you're going through a situation right now where you feel that um, you either need to make a decision or um, you're having trouble making a decision, this card is telling you to hold up. We need to wait for the perfect timing and you also need to consider that we need you to compromise uh, or cooperate a little bit more in whatever the situation is that you're, you're, you're uh, seeking guidance on. So. Um, I, I feel like the wait for perfect timing is what I'm pulled to with this card. If you are if you are someone who pulled number one, let's see, Debbie. Um, looking to see if there's anybody else. Hello, hello, Laura. Uh, if you are one of the people that pulled number or asked for number one, I want you to consider waiting for the perfect timing as this being your. Um, your, your piece of guidance. You might also, uh, Zadikiel, I always say his name wrong, that archangel is someone that you might um, pray to, and I'll show you the picture, so that way you can write down the, uh, the name of the archangel. Pray to him and ask him for some clarity. Ask him for a little bit more guidance, okay, if you're not really for sure. But balance in general is um, never my favorite card, 
but I feel like I could get it every single day because balance is one of the hardest things that I struggle with. Balance in my career, balancing uh, being a mother, balancing a home, balancing being in a relationship. Balance is just really, really tough for me because I feel like I want to give my all to all of those, okay? So um, consider waiting for the perfect timing with whatever the situation is that you're, you're struggling with. In other words, it's not right now. Okay, so if you picked number two, this is really interesting because this card is uh, also about balance. Now, uh, number two isn't as, as big a deal. It's not a major arcana like the balance card was. With this card, it's like you're, you, you're trying to take too much or you're trying to give too much. You've got to balance um, the decision and the situation right now. Otherwise, it's not going to turn out in your favor. In this situation, this card is all about falling in love and or the balance of emotions, okay? And so then when I think about balancing again, I mean, that's something I didn't even throw in when we were talking earlier, you know, just a few minutes ago about all the things that we have to balance, okay? Because um, if I had to just pick, if I had to just balance my emotions in general, I would be a fucking mess. It's very, very hard. It's so hard. But this, 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 um, this card right here is asking you to um, look at how you are responding emotionally to certain situations and mainly love situations. It's mainly uh, relationships. The other, the other thing that this card could mean, if this doesn't pertain to you, could have to do with um, recently falling in love or being invited to a social event. Because the invitation to the social event uh, isn't intuitively sitting with me as well, I really feel like this is, again, all about balancing emotions. Uh, keep in mind, tonight is a full moon. At least I think it is. And so um, balancing emotions around a full moon can be kind of tricky, especially if you were born on a full moon. You might, one thing that might help you would be to uh, Google the date and... Uh, the date and the time where you were born to see if to see what phase the moon was in and then once you know what phase you were born under you can start to track okay am i am i drained on that phase am i do i have more energy on that phase how does being born under that moon phase affect me and um doing that has really really helped me in preparing preparing for shows preparing for readings preparing for conversations that I might want to have that are uncomfortable. I really, I know how my body reacts under a full moon because I was born under a full moon. So that's helped me tremendously uh, in moving forward and in balancing things. So consider doing that as well. Okay. All right. Number threes. There are a lot of number threes and the number threes are getting ready to be really really happy because um, you guys got a major arcana, the 19, which is the sun. I absolutely love getting the sun. Um, this card is all about happy outcomes, uh, believing more in yourself. You may not have enough confidence right now, but the universe and your guides are trying to make you aware of the fact that you're brilliant, that the ideas that you're having can come to fruition, but you have to have the confidence to do it. And this card here is what's supposed to kick you in the ass and give you that confidence, okay? You have got it. Okay, guys. Oh, I know. Emotions are messy, Jenna. I know. I get it. Trust me. I'm right there with you. I'm an empath, and most people are. A lot of people think that uh, an empath is um, is something rare, but it's it's not. Many of us are empaths. And that makes things even harder. And so then people will say, their question to me will be, well, then how do I get rid of being an empath? You don't. Uh, you can learn how to manage it a little bit better you, uh, and keep yourself uh, boxed off from certain people that are energy vampires that might take advantage of you. That's, that's where empaths have to be aware is of energy vampires. I have one in particular uh, person that I know that when they come around me, it's literally like uh, they took the batteries out of my back and I'm just there. I am just so exhausted. 
So one way, if you believe that you're an empath to help control that is um, maintaining uh, high vibrational people around, uh, around you. Being more of an introvert sometimes seems to help because it keeps you from picking up any uh, negative, uh, stressful, unbalanced energy that you might get from somebody else. So there's your tip of the day. All right. Hi, Jessica. So many of you. Oh, man, I miss you guys. Oh, I'm so sorry, Christina. I hope you get it fixed. She said she got a little damage to her house. Gosh darn it. I'm just glad to hear that everybody's okay. All right. Well, it makes my day when you join, Candace. Thank you so much. Thank you all for being here, and I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I get to see some of you either uh, on my next Zoom event on the 27th or maybe even in my living room for the wine event. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to get off here. I'm going to get my babies, and I'm going to continue to work the rest of the day. I love you guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.